Sarah Parker Rimon was one of eight children born into a family of abolitionists who were active in the Underground Railroad in Salem, Massachusetts in 1815. Salem, Massachusetts, despite being a center of anti-slavery activity, was not free of hostility. In theory, black people and the non-slave-owning northern states were free and equal citizens. However, in actuality, they were subject to regular prejudice, abuse, and racism. One of the ways this affected Sarah was through access to education. In 1835, after passing an entrance examination, she and her sister were admitted to Salem High School. Within a week after protests from parents, the segregationist school committee decided to remove all black children and establish a separate school for them. This injustice affected Sarah greatly. As a result of this enforced segregation, the family moved to Rhode Island, where the children were again refused admittance to public schools. After some time, she received some education at a private school that had been established by a group of black residents of the town, but she was largely self-educated and took advantage of a house full of books and newspapers, many from the anti-slavery society which members of her family were active in. She went on to become an African-American slavery abolitionist, lecturer, and physician who began her anti-slavery campaign by giving her very first lecture at just 16 years old. This took her across America and on to Britain and Europe, where she became a well-known figure and agent of change in the anti-slavery movement and worked tirelessly to condemn the atrocities happening, happening in her country. This took her across America and on to Britain in Europe where she became a well-known figure and agent of change in the anti-slavery movement and worked tirelessly to condemn the atrocities happening in her country. This was a radical action at the time, not just because she was young and black, but also because she was a woman. At her overflowing UK lectures, Sarah told audiences of thousands of the horrors of slavery and of the discrimination and indignity suffered by free black people in America, shocking listeners and raising a large amount of money for the anti-slavery cause. Her time in the UK was especially important as she was thought to be the first woman to discuss slavery in front of mass audiences and she also spoke of corrupt American politics and the corrupt church. Sarah challenged the perception of women as submissive victims of slavery and segregation, not fit for public platform, and her significant contribution to the progress and emancipation paved the way for radical change. The fight for civil rights didn't just include adults, so always remember your voice has power to become the change.